time to uh, cut the axle off of the um, the front axle off the uh, oh, what is it Moto Four. So let's go ahead and cut it off. I've been waiting for a while. Uh, I'll probably chop it up here and chop it back here so I have some extra stuff to work with and most likely probably 95% of this I'm not even going to use but I'm going to leave it on there just in case because you never know I'd rather leave a good little bit that I'm not going to use than not enough I've ever put something under that uh, engine before I cut it because that's not going to be good if that happens. All that weight is going to drop or something. Okay, so I put a uh, a car ramp under the engine. That'll work. So now all we have is this so they are out and here up the tires to 36 psi max to uh, set the bead soaked it in water and tires seem to hold air except around the bead so I don't know if it's the bead on the tires or the rims I'm pretty sure it's the rims because I discovered something really bad with these rims you can see this one bubbling this one's still bubbling really good all the way around but uh, the rim is actually separating on the inside so if that's doing that it stayed fun right here because that's where the bolt hole was so I think the tires are still good it's just the um, the rims but until I find more I'm gonna sand these paint them and just run inner tubes in my tires uh, these tires eventually I'm gonna take them off the rim and uh, give it to a buddy for his uh, 89 Yamaha Moto 4 350 uh, these are actually 22 by 7 by 10s Originally on that four-wheeler of his comes with eight inch wide But is what it is. It's an odd size and in that odd size There's only like three different kinds of tires. Uh, I mean different treads on the market and they are expensive so I'm sure he can run inner tubes in it and I'll save him a whole bunch of money Here's the axle out of there 
The hub seems to be nice. Um, I was going to use this because this is like awesome where it has the two wires. Cables going from the, uh, the hubs. But when I was hitting this with a hammer, I ended up smacking that. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do now. That's a mistake. But, I mean, it turns easy. Be nice to get it all cleaned up, pressure washed. And then go from there. Well, I cannot bust the B on the two front tires. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'll probably take it to the tire shop. And if they can't get it off with their machine, I'm just going to cut it. Because I ran up over it. I took a board to it, ran up on it, nothing. Got on it myself. Tried to bust the bead using tools and all that, nothing. If they can't get it off, I'll probably cut it off the rim. Uh, I went ahead and took the uh, the 22 by 12 by 8s off. And now I'm just going to take the recon and tow the, uh, what do you call it, across the field there. Back over to its spot. By the tractor.